Rod Cooper, Australian Institute of Noise. I've just got back from Japan. I'm getting ready for the Inner West Noise Fest that will be held in July 2023 in Sydney. And it's organised by Jay of Snapshot Records and Inner City Uprising. And I'm pretty excited. <laughs> in fact, I'm honoured to be invited to play at this festival. This is my snare template that I keep in the workshop. Everything is cut to this size because it fits in my travel suitcase. I try and keep everything under 10 kilos, around 7 kilos, in case I'm lucky enough to be able to take this on the plane with me. Because airlines destroy my work and they lose my instruments and noise machines. This is a slightly wider marine ply base so we've got the electric snare here two pickups around this pickup i'll have some small motors that will give me electromagnetic interference tones and two mechanized strings i'm hoping to join these two together so that i travel with them separately in the case so I'm meant to go in there and hopefully somehow it's all going to fit I've done a lot of drawings for this noise machine that I'm building especially for the inner west noise fest I've cut down a printer mechanism it's got an axle and when it rotates, it knocks against some little flat fingers, similar to a thumb piano or an umbira. It's mechanized with a switch. It's, again, it's a, just a, ch a cheap Chinese acoustic guitar pickup. It's microphonic, so it picks up everything that's attached to this piece of structural plywood. The spring section is stretched over a base pickup and I've got a spring on each of the pole pieces and they basically rattle and touch the pole pieces so I can get extra noise. I'll have a couple of motors on here as well and everything again will be switched. I'll hopefully join the two pieces together in my hotel room which is near the venue and I'll just walk it down on my arm probably. I've also got to try and fit a mixer in here as well. I might have the mixer in the backpack and take that on the plane with me and this will go in the hold of the plane and hopefully they won't lose it or damage it. Which is a huge concern of mine whenever I'm travelling with my instruments. When I was in Japan recently for the most of May 2023, I sent my instruments via the post and I made sure that they were there before I even left Australia. And that worked out quite well. It was very expensive. It cost me about 350 bucks. And then on the return mail, it only cost me 30 bucks. So go figure, pack and send. Australia Post, you're letting the country down. Reverb. <laughs> 
on the springs. <laughs> feedback because it's very high output I'm really driving it hard but this little wheel is spinning quite fast and I'm trying to get a harmonic from the longitudinal length of the spring now it's all coiled up so it could be a couple of meters long but the longitudinal are very high pitched harmonics and they run up and down the spring and then what I was doing before if I'm doing this, <laughs> That's like the shear wave, so that's the, the vibration going across, not up and down. It's sort of perpendicular to the um, to the pickup, and it's perpendicular to the field of the toroidal donut shape in the inside the windings of the pickup. And I've been playing around this for probably the last I don't know twelve years since I went electric and I didn't go back happened to me in Mississippi Clarksdale Mississippi at the crossroads highway 61 and 49 I believe but it's Clarksdale uh, <laughs>
That's a new one to me. Like me, I just come in the workshop. I can do drawings for a month and fill up little notepads and stuff, but nothing beats coming in here and actually just trying to try the different possibilities. Different motors on different springs with different pickups. <laughs> Lots of depth, lots of atmosphere with springs. That's why people use them. And um, hundreds of people have used springs over the years, from soundtracks in the movie Apocalypse Now to uh, you know famous noise musicians. You don't need a tuner; you just stretch it over something, put it near a pickup, put it on a piezo. I'm using all pickups on mine. I prefer pickups to piezos, but piezos. Very simple, and they do have their uses. Just not on this. Yeah, there's a piece, though. I've chopped that off something that didn't work. Probably one of my noise weapons. You know, it's got parts everywhere in this place. It's just the wiring. That's what does my head in. Wiring and switches. And trying to fit it all onto here so that you can play it and hold it and take it in a suitcase and go and play somewhere and meet a new friend. Discovering new artists that you've never really tuned into before and they blow you away And hopefully you do the same to them. That's why I'm doing this